I'm Kim from Abundant Life Tarot, and I am here today for a review of the Dreamer's Journey Oracle Deck. Actually, the proper uh, name of it is Soul Trees, the Dreamer's Journey Major Arcana Oracle. And this is by Allison Williams Yee, and she is of the site website uh, Soul Trees, and she created this lovely deck. She is also the creator of the original Soul Trees Oracle. I do not own that yet, but I will. It is on my wish list. And this one I got first. I got it maybe a little, maybe about a year ago is when I got it, a little give or take. And I love it. It is the reason why I decided to branch out from just reading Oracle cards to moving into tarot, to having the confidence to do it, to even having the wanting to do it. It's that perfect bridge if you are a little scared to make that transition from Oracle to tarot. So let's take a look. So it's in this little box here, typical tarot size box. It's 44 cards. Twenty. The first 22 are the 22 major arcana and the tarot. She's changed some of the keywords. And then the other 22 are cards uh, with the key phrases that she's come up with for a total of 44 cards. And we have these beautiful backs. Make sure there's no glare. I suppose you could do reversals, but the meanings you'll find actually kind of encapsulates both the light and the dark of a message, which I like and appreciate. Um, it is the typical tarot size, which I also appreciate. You know, I know that Oracle cards, Oracle decks, like the Hay House here, comes in more of a chunkier rectangle, but I prefer the tarot size. It's easier to shuffle. I was called to the fact that it was a part tarot, but obviously it's an Oracle deck. But when I got it a year ago or so, I was moving away from Oracle decks and branching into tarot. So I thought it would be a good starting point for me. And it was. And I actually love it. Still use it a lot today. It's definitely a part of my meditation practice. And it's a, it many times will be sitting on my altar. So here are the backs. And we'll just go through the cards, shall we? Let's take a look here. And they are out of order because I've been using them all the time, so it's not new to me. They shuffle great. I do riffle shuffle with them, but most of the time overhand shuffle. And just like any tarot deck, that is the tar the standard tarot deck size. Um, they shuffle great, in my experience. Um, I know the Soul Trees cards are 350 GSM for the um, thickness of the card. And I would imagine this is like similar, if not the same. I love the bendability of it. I am not someone who is really into thick um, tarot or oracle cards, but I tolerate them. I like the standard tarot size, and I really appreciate when they are really bendy. That's just me. So here, why don't we take a look? Um, the numbers correspond with the major arcana that um, this this particular card was derived from. So in this case, this is the Wheel of Fortune or the Wheel. It's number 10. And here is an image. The reason why I chose the Dreamer's Journey over Soul Trees initially was because I liked the fact that it was the part of the major arcana and then also it has different images aside from trees that are featured in the deck 
and I will read from some of them here. It says, The Will, Change in Circumstances, A New Cycle, Adapting to Coming Transition, Things Move Forward Now with Momentum, Good Fortune Ahead, and I like that a lot. So let's take a look at another card here. We have eight for karma. If you hear a little voice in the background, that's my six-year-old Ella. She is supposedly resting. We went to the um, gym fair today to pick up some crystals and some little bits that I can make uh, some necklaces with to sell on my Etsy shop, so or my soon to be coming Etsy shop that I will be launching at some point very soon. And she says she was tired, but I do hear her playing upstairs. She must be energized by all the new stones we collected today. Um, karma. I just want to show you all that again. Isn't that beautiful? It says, honesty, justice, fairness, and correct action. You have created where you are based on past actions. The future can be changed by a lesson learned now. And then we have the teacher, which I would imagine is her gorgeous one at that. Are those wings that I see right here? Right here. A mentor, wise educator true seeker with a hunger to uncover answers to big questions about life, the world, the universe. Study, experience, explore. Uh, resurrection. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love, 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 love it. This is amazing and gorgeous. All right, let's see. Rebirth, realization, awakening, a new beginning, a time for meditation. Pay attention to guidance from your dreams and intuition, a time of healing, journey. On the road to self-mastery, learning and growing, gaining confidence, at peace with yourself, preparation and discipline vision the wise woman now we know what that is right can you guess just adore that image inner wisdom at its deepest level listen to your inner voice look past the physical to uncover hidden truths new insights intuition dreams map mystery excuse me mastery the colors are so gorgeous and i think she did a great thing by putting them on the tarot side the typical tarot size cards you know excuse me I take a sip from my ginger ninja. Oh, some good stuff. Okay. Upheaval. I'd imagine this is like the tower card. By the description. Change in life situation or perception. Unexpected liberation leads to new beginnings, a flash of enlightenment, the destruction of established patterns. And as you probably can guess um, that this deck does not come with a guidebook, but it does not need a guidebook at all. I mean, you've got the image, you've got a keyword up here, and then you've got some a little message or a blurb right here. So you don't really need a guidebook. Uh, many times I'm just getting what I need from the keyword and the image and I'll look at the messages too But I don't necessarily need to and neither would your querent um, As well because it's pretty clear. Um, I mean it is this image is abstract of course, but 
Um, the, if you are confused, then you can find further meaning here. Love it. Um, family. Joyful time with loved ones coming together, beginning or expanding a family, feelings of gratitude and love for the gifts in your life, a fertile time. I like that a lot. Determination. partnership. It's pretty, pretty, pretty. Keep close. Okay. New partnership. Working together to achieve a common goal. Creating ideas. Passion. Don't get tangled up in the details. Compromise solutions. And when I see this card and I you know, think about partnership, right? Um, I think about how you, you can easily get entangled in a partnership and lose a sense of self and where you end and where the partnership and the other person begins. But if you stay true to yourself and pay attention to, you know, where you end and begin, but still compromising, still working together as a partnership, some magic can happen, you know. So, really like that. A little light and dark of the partnership to me. You know, don't get tangled up in the details. Compromise. So, she says, you know, there's the good with the bad all in this little message. I think it's genius, Allison. Um, inner awareness. Isn't that pretty? I'm trying to get no glare. Time to go within and focus on your inner self. Meditation and self-discovery. Introspection and contemplation. Activating the unconscious mind. This is one of her cards, forgiveness. Not to say the other cards, the ones with the major arcana, it's arcana, arcana. Um, the, those are her creations too. She has changed many of the keywords, but these are also, these are part of the other 22 that are not part of the major arcana. The moon. So pretty. Intuitive insight, psychic awakening, imagination, the subconscious intense emotions and dreams, the shadow self, heightened insecurity and anxiety, stagnation, manifestation, I like, I wanna read this quickly here. Seeds planted begin to materialize Ideas, hopes, and dreams now take shape and form as if by magic, momentum, energy, positive change. Let's scoot back and get a little comfy in my chair. Um, all right, the world. The magician. What do you think? Are you liking them? I'm liking them. I have for a while now. Temperance. Ego. Feeling helpless, pessimistic, and judgmental false perceptions, dependency, a distorted sense of self, materialistically driven fear, accomplishment, pleasure, 
Life is blossoming. It may have taken longer than you would have liked, but you, here you are, purpose, thriving, flow, abundance. Things are happening. I love that. The mother, the empress. Soul mates, the lovers. A relationship that is solid and equal, respect and love for each other, harmony and relationships are within self. Time to make a choice with the heart. Uncertainty. Purposeful action. A strong will, prepared for the challenge of going after what you want, successfully managing a situation, assertiveness, success and confidence. Reflection. Observation, time to reflect in your past and present situation present situation excuse me time to reflect on your past and present situation now create that which you wish to experience self-expression balance and peace come on distraction i have lots of distractions my children, my husband, my work, my family, my friends, my TV, distractions. I think we all have them, but they, they have a purpose, you know? Focus your thoughts and energy. Get clear about your goals. Focus on the big picture. Unnecessary clutter and complication, creating commotion. Last one temperance pretty so those are all the 44 and so let's just do a three card spread I will spirit accept judging cards if you so fancy We got forward movement and we got the wheel. And let's take a look see. Okay, the message here is a thrust forward on your path. Something is coming that will give you a lift and carry you ahead on your journey. A whirlwind of excitement. The wheel. Change in circumstances, a new cycle, adapting to coming transition. Things move forward now with momentum, good fortune ahead. So we have two cards that are representing a lot of movement, forward movement, positive movement, positive changes coming into the mix. And what I really appreciate, appreciate about this message is that we have inside of us what it takes to push that momentum to get it started by taking deliberate daily steps towards pushing that thrust forward so that as we're pushing a little bit exerting effort the universe is meeting us and gaining momentum in the direction we are trying to go um i really appreciate how this comes together because it's like the will it's our time to cycle it's our time to go into the the right direction of abundance we are moving into the direction of abundance we have clues that are that are picking up and we're picking up pace and sometimes it's kind of difficult to pick up the pace but 
we better, you know, ride this wave. We're now at the top of the wheel right now, folks. That's where we're, we're at. We're here. That forward movement has pushed us from here, down here, where we may have been like, ooh, we're kind of struggling, to up here. Ah, oh, doesn't that feel good? It does. Let's keep that forward momentum going. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Well, there you have it. There, the Dreamer's Journey Oracle. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you will check out Allison's lovely website, the Soul Trees website, and see what else she's got because she does have Soul Trees. I am definitely going to be checking it out and I encourage you to also reach out to her to request to have the Dreamer's Journey uh, reprinted. So, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the Dreamer's Journey Oracle, if you own it, or if you had tried to purchase it and then wasn't able to get it, or um, if you did reach out to her to have her reprint it, or if you have Soul Trees, because I want to know more about Soul Trees, how it works for people, how they're using it in their practice. So hit me up in the comments box. It's been fun. I am looking forward to doing another video. Hit subscribe for me, please. Like this video if you liked it or loved it. And I'll see you soon. Many blessings and have a great rest of your day, folks. Bye.